Question number five is about inverses of two cross two or three cross three matrices. This is a straightforward and an easy problem in calculator. So let's take our calculators now. Here you need to follow the methods very closely. You should not do anything wrong because you will not get the answers. First, we need to press mode because there's nothing uh, switched on. There's no matrix mode or anything. So press mode and press six. That is the matrix. And now initially when you start, you can fill in one matrix. Now for inverse, there's only one matrix. So this is it. Press matrix A, that is option number one. And look at the dimensions of this matrix. It's two cross two, two rows, two columns, right? Two cross two is option number five. And type the matrix in. They give you four. Then press equal to. Once you do it, press equal to. And minus six equals to three. Now, once all are typed in, once you are pressed equal to, you should press AC or on. It's better to go with AC. Now, all clear, you're back. Here you need to anymore, please don't go to more than press 6. If you go again, then the matrices will be reset, you know. So it's a big problem. Please don't go to more and press 6 anymore. Already the matrix mode is on. Anymore, if you are to use any matrices, press shift and four. See, can you see about four is matrix? Now this gives you the options. If you want to fill another matrix, you need to go to dimension and do the steps which you just now did. But now we already saved this matrix, right? Just press three, that is the matrix A. Now I want to take the inverse. Inverse is by this symbol over here, x to the power minus one is x inverse. And equal to, it's a math error. If I'm getting a math error, this means this is a single R matrix. This cannot be taken as inverse because the determinant of this is zero. It's a single R. Now, if you want to double check the determinant is zero, what I can do is, uh, I will just clear it out. You can press shift and four. There is option number seven for determinants. And then again, shift and four, press matrix A, close the bracket. Here, the determinant is zero. If determinant is zero, the matrix is singular. Or if you get math error, that means it's singular. Even this is singular, you can try by yourself. Over here, I have done the written method. You can follow this as well. But, you know, the calculated method is more than enough. You just have to find the determinant. These opposite things are multiplied to each other and minus the other thing. So it's first left to right, minus right to left, and then find the determinant. Your determinant is zero, that means this is a single R matrix. The determinant, it does not exist, inverse does not exist. And if you want to solve otherwise, you need to consider these as A, B, C, D, and find the determinant. Left to right, two times minus two, and then minus three times minus two, you get the answer over here as minus 10. If the determinant is anything other than zero, you will get an inverse. Now the formula for inverse is one by determinant and there is D, see this one swaps, shifts over here. Instead of D it becomes A place and A comes to D's place. Whereas B and C doesn't change but you have to multiply by negative sign. So here this shifts, see what happens? This minus two goes up and these two signs become minus and then you just write one by determinant is minus 10 and over here initially we had minus two D, it became A and A became D, and here you multiply both by minus, this is the answer. You can multiply the negative one by, one by 10 inside, and you will get these answers. This is the determinant. You can check this. Now, since I'm going to type this anew as the first matrix, I can go to mode again, or I'll just clear the calculator. What I personally do is, whenever I finish matrices, I just clear the calculator, go to mode again, press six. Now matrix one, it's a two cross two matrix. Option five, two minus three minus two, and lastly minus two. That's it, press AC, shift four, matrix A is by three, inverse, that's the answer. It's one, this is the fraction symbol, one by five, minus three by 10, negative one by five, and negative one by five, that's the answers. So that's how we do it. Even if it is a three cross three matrix, it's same method. Please do this by yourselves. And I'll do one three cross three matrix. I will just clear it out over here. Now, if once I clear it, I can't press shift and four. It doesn't work because I need to go to mode, 
and 6 for the first time, type in the matrix A. It's 3 cross 3, so it's option 1. Now I'll just type the values. 1 minus, sorry, it's minus 1, minus 1, minus 3, 3, 6, 4, 2, 1, 8. So once this is done, you need to press AC. Now here what you do is shift 4, put in the matrix A, inverse, this must be the answer. You can see here it's negative 44, negative 5, and you can match the answer. Here this one, the determinant is 0, so it's a singular matrix. That's how we can easily solve them up. Over here it's singular, over here you get the answer. Try it by yourselves and then check for the answers. And that's how easily you can do the inverses of matrices.